Okay, so this is a this is a quick little demonstration uh, about the uh, MK802. I just received this uh, a few days ago. I ordered this from AliExpress. I think I I got the one gigabyte version. I think which was like ten dollars more than the five hundred twelve megabyte or megabytes of RAM version. Um, this is basically what came in the box. Everything you see right here. This is the actual device. I'll go into that a little bit more in a second. Um, here's the box. It's actually a pretty decent looking box. Um, it's got the specs on it. I don't know if my camera could zoom in fast enough. Yeah, probably not. Forget it. Um, instruction book I haven't even read yet. Um, and here's the actual device. So it has a, a mini HDMI port. I believe that's mini HDMI. Could be wrong. Um, but they provided a cable for it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Here's a, I guess, a, what is it, micro US or mini USB? A B or A, I'm not even sure which one it is. It's the ones that like Blackberries use or old phones. Um, it has a full USB port on the side and that hole right there is for the dedicated power supply if you decide to use that. Uh, it also has a slot for micro SD card which I have one in there actually right now. Um, yeah, too lazy to take it out but yeah so this is the actual device. Uh, these are the cables. This is the dedicated power supply. This if you plug it into the side uh, it'll keep your device on the whole time even if your TV is off. Um, here's the power supply cable, which basically, uh, is a USB cable, which I use as the power supply. Um, here's the, uh, mini HDMI to, uh, full HDMI converter cable that came with it. And here's actually that same USB plug, but the other end, it's like a, a female USB, so you can plug in, you know, a mouse receiver or hard drive. Uh, so or some other USB device. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand, I guess. Um, the way I connect it is, uh, I have my keyboard and mouse right here. It's like a twenty-dollar Logitech, you know, dented box thing I got uh, like years ago. A USB adapter. I just plug it. In. <coughs> I plug it into the. Hold on, while I plug this, it's gonna get shaky. So, I have that right there. Uh, you can get the uh, HDMI cable. Hold on for a second while I plug this. Okay, that's in there. And now we need the power supply, which uh, I'm just gonna use the USB cable for now. Oh, my power strip is full, I don't feel like messing with it. So here it is, it's got basically three things attached to it, the USB receiver for the mouse and keyboard, the power supply USB cable, and the HDMI cable. So sorry about the reflection on the TV, sorry for the mess in my room too, I'm in the middle of moving out, everything is just everywhere. Okay, so yeah, good plasma as reflection on everything. That's one thing I hate about plasma TVs, but other than that the quality is great. Okay, so. Sorry about the movement while I plug all this stuff in. So, the TV's off right now. I'm gonna plug the USB cable into the USB. There's a USB slot that came with my TV. Uh, I guess you can attach hard drives and stuff to it directly for the TV, but I've never even tried that. But I'm gonna use that as my power supply. And the HDMI cable, I have two slots. It's an older TV. Okay, so this device basically just kinda hangs around. You can find a place to put it, I guess. So it's just gonna basically sit there like that. I'm gonna turn my TV on. So what happens is, like I said in my comments, um, if you use this power supply, you have to wait for the TV to turn on. And once the TV turns on, you see it turned on right there. And when you turn the TV off, it will also turn off. And you have to give it like about a minute 
say no signal. I have to give it like a, a minute for the Android to to boot up. So again, I apologize for the reflection in the messy room. So it's gonna say not supported, some random thing that my TV does. In about 20, 30 seconds, it should show the Android booting up scene. Come on. There you go. So it took a minute for the power to go through. If you don't, like I use this because I don't have to attach anything else to it. Um, normal people will just use probably the power cable. It'll just stay on the whole time and just flip to the channel. So this is what came with it, um, Android 4.0, of course. Um, these buttons down here are, you know, I haven't touched any of it. The only thing I basically did down here is um, it shows you the mini HDSC or whatever, micro, the, the card that I plugged in, the SD card, the micro SD card. And I also connected it to my wireless. This is the second time I'm turning this thing on, so. I did that the first time I turned in. I also uh, opened the Play Store and you know made an account and um, signed into Google, but um, I didn't join my main account because I didn't feel like having emails pop up you know every two seconds uh, while I'm watching something. Okay, so let's. Uh, I guess we could test run some stuff. Let me get my mouse and keyboard here. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Okay, so like I said, everything that came with this, let me sit in this chair. So everything that came with this uh, is shown except the uh, Netflix and Crunchyroll. Uh, I added that myself. So let's see, let's use the mouse. Mouse response is actually really good. I was surprised. So, uh, Angry Birds browser, just basically the, you know, basic Android stuff. Um, I guess we can check out, like, YouTube real quick. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, let's just click on some random, I guess, random video, I guess. Um, I don't know, whatever. Uh, my hand is getting tired of holding this thing. It's my first time recording using this phone. This is a Galaxy Nexus, by the way. Just got it from the Play Store. I upgraded it to Jelly Bean. I think I'm, actually, I think I'm downloading something. Hope it's not going to slow things down here. Come on. I think the first time I'm running this, it's like, it's probably doing extra stuff. But uh, I did watch Netflix on TV. Enquanto, o, enquanto você arruma aí as coisas, Venom, já dou uma notícia muito boa. Já temos 7546 cabeçudos assistindo a live, cara. Esse pessoal muito é, muito é muito cansudo. É isso aí, pessoal. 8.283, que é isso? Nice. É isso. So, you can't really see the quality, I guess, but to me, um, you know, it looks pretty decent. It looks basically like an HD content, uh, like 720p, 1080p content. Um, let's just try some of these other stuff. Okay, so... Like I said, I haven't installed anything on here yet, except, like, I should probably install a custom launcher or something. Um, we can test, uh, Netflix, I guess. Let me hide this for a second. I don't know if it shows my account. Loading. Okay. 
Okay, so Netflix. I guess we could just watch some random thing. So, I guess the first time you run Netflix like this, it takes a while to load everything. But um, I believe once you start playing it, uh, it should be fine. Come on, internet. Okay. Let me move the mouse out of the way. There we go. Again, it's pretty clear. Um, nearly HD quality. I mean, it's actually HD quality. I can't tell the difference. Um, and it's going at full speed. It's not slowed down or anything. Again, this all depends on your internet speed too. So if you have a lower internet speed, of course Netflix will uh, make the quality a little bit less. I can, I can download it like 950 kilobytes a second. So I think it's like 7 Mbit connection or something. So anyway, that looks pretty good quality. I'm gonna keep the light off for a second. Okay. Let's see. 